So even after doing that filter change on the fuel filter the other week, the band's still running a little bit rough and it's stalled a couple of times. Now there's two main things, or three things that can be that. Could be just your idle mixture. Could be the points. They, like, they could have been a bit dirtier. Like It's been a while since I've done those. And sometimes even just a hose having popped off something, um, which often happens with older vehicles, I found like it was running rough and I just found a hose that was had come off one of the manifold sections. So I've just checked my hoses and the hoses are all okay. So I'm just going to have a look at the points and I'll show you how to just inspect your points and um, clean them if they need to, because I think that's what's going to be the case. All right. Obviously, first thing you've got to do is remove your distributor cap. This one's pretty good in the sense that it just requires two clips to be removed and then pop the rotor off in the little cap. What we're checking is this here, this little section here and yeah, even just pulling at it then I can tell that these obviously aren't opening fully every time it's meant to be firing because it felt a little sticky which means that the points are actually instead of pulling apart and breaking t every time the um, cam spins around it might be just opening a little bit and so it's as it's generating the spark it's kind of like it's welding itself together so I just need to have a, a close look at that and try and clean that up all right I've thrown down a little light here I've zoomed my phone in I can actually see it better on the screen of the phone than looking in at the actual points, but you can see that those points are really badly worn. So uh, I'm going to have to try and just get a little bit of that cleaned out. Um, they're essentially just welding themselves together. They should be really clean points like that. It's nice flat surfaces just undone this bolt here which allows me to move my distributor backwards and forwards and that allows me to get the points to right to the top of the cam and <laughs> I can tell just there right on the top of the cam the points are barely opening I need to file these and I also need to undo this screw while at the top of the cam I need to pull and basically stretch the points around to uh, get that gap there. Now I'm just going to be trying for a gap that's going to work for the moment because I'm going to have to buy new points. These are shocking and I can now understand why my van's been stalling and running so rough. I don't particularly want to pull the whole lot of whole points out. Actually it might be better too so rather than around inside the distributor so these two nuts come out you can see that's basically made the the points let go and I don't want to I don't want to lose any screws so I'm just trying to get that loose enough to get it out and then I'm going to loosen this screw as well to get this little cable off and then I can do something with the points Points completely removed, and I want to work at trying to just clean up that horrible looking burnt surface <laughs> to try and get a few days out of it while I go on. Boy, boy. Actually, looking at that, I'm going to check if I've still got my old points sitting in the back of the van. I might be able to clean that up a bit. Oh, man. So here's the points I just took off. Here's the points that I replaced with those ones a year or so ago. And that was when that little dirty surface was causing my issues. So my old points, which I'm now glad I haven't thrown away, are in better condition than the ones that were sitting in the van. The one point that might be a bit of an issue is the little this little wear plate that runs on the cam. I think the old one was a little bit lower than this one, so it'll mean that I'll have to try and adjust it a bit more so that it gets that ride happening. But I'm just going to 
clean this one out. One simple way of trying to clean these up is get just a little bit of emery cloth and just fold that surface a little bit. Sometimes you can use the pressure of the the actual points just to help give it some purchase. And this isn't a really I think this is a hundred grit. So I'm basically just trying to get that old burnt surface cleaned up a little bit. So I'm going to go and do that and then I'll come back and show you. That surface is looking a bit better. At least there's a bit of a pad for these ones. I ended up using a piece of 240 folded over so I could get the same pressure on both little bits. And now I just need to get the points put back in. Start by getting that tab that has one of the cables on it. Get that reattached. Then I can try and just slip the two points tabs back into the body. Get this bottom one done up tight because that's the static one. And now I get that so it's right on the top of my cam. And you can see that the gap has opened up, but I need to double check that gap. So, I actually don't remember what it is off by heart. So I'll just grab a manual, which I always keep in the van. Breaker point gap. I'm gonna go with the 0 0.02 of an inch, mainly because the feeler gauges I've got belong to my pop, which are Imperial. Okay, so my gap needs to be 20 thou of an inch. I don't have a 20 thou, but I do have a 10, an 8, and a 2, which adds up to 20. So you're going to get these three, making sure that the, the blades are as clean as possible so there's no grid in between them. When they're all pressed together, that should be 20 thou of an inch. And that's the gap I need to have in between these points. And it should just slip in, and at the moment that's too much. So, this is where, while well, it's right on the top of the cam, get a screwdriver. And with your feelers inside, get it right up on the top. Get that in there. I need to keep it on top of the cam. And then just get that so it's tight fit and tighten that screw. And they should just pull out. If they don't push back in, I've done it too tight. Right on the top of the cam. Keep the feel gauges. And that's pushing them apart, so I've gone too tight. Right on the top. Should not be flexing. Let's have to come back the other way. And 
hoping that was going to happen. As soon as I loosen that back one. Don't want that wire getting in the way while the engine's spinning. And then you actually want to make sure that it does close back up and opens up over the can and closes back up. So that will hopefully have done it. I'll put everything back on. We have a flat spot here. There's a flat spot on the inside of the rotor. That still looks reasonable. On the front, I think why now I go to buy new points and might just buy a new rotor button as well. Get my adjustment nut back on, and it was around about there, then I'll have to check that and get my. I'll cut back on. Then I'll fire it up and see how it goes. So that sounds better than the has been. Job well done. We're going to go and buy new points though. Here's those uh, little ones. And a button. Right about.